just in January. I'm really interested in pediatrics, first of all, so this was a rotation with our pediatrics professor at St. John's. So I was in the pediatric ICU rounding with um, the team of doctors and physical therapists and nurses. And um, we had a patient who came in, she was five years old, had Down syndrome, and she was just diagnosed with leukemia. And I have a brother who has Down syndrome, so this was just close to my heart. And you know, so I just wanted to make sure to check on her regularly. And she was nonverbal. And more than that, she only understood Spanish. Her mom spoke Spanish and was in not any English, but she was also illiterate, so it wasn't even like we could give her information in Spanish to have her read. So we really had to make sure that all of the verbal communication we gave, that she would say back to us, and that we really could you know, make sure that she understood it because she was the one there with her all the time. And um, I was friends with one of the doctors who was very fluent in Spanish. My Spanish is so-and-so. Um, I can understand a lot more than I can speak, so I always just make sure to check on the mom, you know, have a little bit of a conversation, touch base, because it must be very hard to be in the hospital with your daughter, especially when she's going through now chemotherapy regimens. And so, you know, um, the little girl, her name was also Katie. And so, you know, we shared this bond, you know, and I was trying to talk to her, you know, a little bit of Spanish, she'd always laugh at my attempts. Um, she didn't really say anything back, but I was able to talk with the child life specialists who really go in there and try to make sure that their day is better and that they're getting out of bed and I was able to find a Dora Explorer book that was in Spanish and in English. So on one of my days when I had a little bit of free time I went to the room and was just reading her book, you know, trying to do swipe or no swiping and just talking with her. And I know that's not necessarily a pharmacy part but that was such a crucial part of that patient care interaction and being able to see your patients as patients and seeing the whole aspect when I'm in the outpatient setting, you know, we see them and they come in with scripts and sometimes we're very busy and we don't get as much interaction as we want. So it was really wonderful to see that interaction. And then from the pharmacy standpoint, she's on chemotherapy now. So monitoring for side effects and trying to explain to the mom and to her, even though we don't really know how much she understands because, you know, she is a special needs child and then she's nonverbal so she can't communicate back with us. You know, but like things like telling the mom to watch out for like, um, tingling, you know, pins and needles, and it was very hard to try to explain that, you know, pins and needles as a, you know, an American expression, you know, you, if I translate pins and needles in Spanish, it makes no sense to them. Just little things like that, that was just all part of that experience, and you know, so that was just, you know, one experience of many, but really like made me sure that I wanted to be a pharmacist and that what I was doing was important and that I was making a difference, and I loved it. Pharmacists deserve provider status because they are an important and crucial member of the healthcare team and they deserve to be recognized in this and they offer so much and they are different than doctors. We are having our own doctorate now, a PharmD, and that's important because we are the medication experts and you know the doctors, I, I speak to them and the residents and they get one semester of pharmacology. I have four years of it. You know, this is my field and this is something that I can make a difference in and it's really important that pharmacists have that opportunity so that we can provide the best patient care experience because bottom line, we're about the patient. It's not about me, it's not about them, it's about the patient. So whatever we can do to make their experience better and make them healthier is what we want.